please welcome the Executive Director of the Fulbright Association and Fulbright alumnus to India, Dr. John Bader. Good evening, indeed. It has been a very good evening. Thanks to so many, starting with our sponsors and donors whose generosity uh, will power the programs both of the Fulbright Association, such as Fulbright in the Classroom, and water.org. Those sponsors include the Pennsylvania State University for supporting the reception we just enjoyed, the AD, yeah, you can, that's fine. <laughs> the ADP Foundation, and Fulbrighter Josh Weston. Many thanks to the Association's National Board of Directors, the Prize Selection Committee, my talented and very, very hardworking team, musical performers, everyone at the Marriott Marquis, and all of you for making this a special gathering of friends, alumni, and supporters of the Fulbright program. Thank you so much. Fulbright Prize laureates have advanced peace and reconciliation, combated disease, show, slowed the arms race, comforted refugees, promoted democracy, and alleviated poverty. Our laureates deserve our admiration, support, and celebration. We will spend this ceremony doing just that for Gary White and Matt Damon. We will better understand their work and its powerful, positive impact but I want to spend my few minutes of welcome and reflection on the power of inspiration. First to reflect on what inspired them and then how they inspire us. This is less about what they have done then and more about how we can encourage each other to be better stewards of all peoples and our shared planet. Gary and Matt began their work in India where I went on a Fulbright grant after college. India is a country of great passions, an intensely complex subcontinent of many cultures, languages, philosophies, and histories. Four world religions, Hinduism, Jainism, Buddhism, and Sikhism were founded there. India's complex ecosystem includes the Tar Desert, the Himalayas, the Deccan Plateau, hill stations like Kodai Canal, and the tropics of Kerala. Wherever you are, especially in the rural areas that I traveled from Rajasthan to Madhya Pradesh, there is one unifying obsession, water. Finding and carrying potable water is a daily burden for women and girls in every village. Using water as effective irrigation is a common difficulty. Deforestation and industrial production threaten the water cycle and its cleanliness. Water is so important in India that it is sacred with powers to relieve, restore, and forgive. There are few experiences worldwide that are as spiritually powerful as the rituals happening at this very moment on the banks of the Ganges. Fulbright alumni always say how transformational the experience was for them. I was blessed to be transformed by India, and so were Gary and Matt. Inspired by India and other travels to do the work we will learn about and celebrate this evening. In turn, they have inspired others, a multiplier effect that is familiar to Fulbrighters who build self-perpetuating networks across borders for a better world. Let me end my remarks on inspiration with a personal note. Gary, your commitment to water safety and sanitation uh, reminds us of the centrality of water to all life on this glorious planet. You have developed an inspiring, novel approach to safe water and sanitation using the power of investors and capital to create sustainable, affordable water systems. Harnessing financial tools to make the world better is inspiring a new generation of financial professionals, like my son Calvin, who works for an ESG investment firm. Thank you for your vision and your determination, Gary. You are an inspiration to us all.
Matt, like your friend and fellow Fulbright Prize laureate, Bono, you have leveraged your success to be one of the world's greatest advocates and philanthropists. Your work and generosity benefit not just water safety, but poverty and hunger relief, the fight against AIDS, and especially education, inspired by your mother, Nancy, an early education scholar, and therefore one of us. Your performance as astronaut Mark Watney, the Martian, is intelligent, funny, and passionate. My family has memorized every line in this flick, like this one. In the face of overwhelming odds, I'm left with only one option. I'm going to have to science the shit out of this. <laughs> that included following the recipe for, yes, water. You have inspired my son Eli to major in physics at Yale, where he is an Air Force ROTC, and we thank you. I conclude with a charge to us all to draw inspiration from these laureates who have used their talents to promote international understanding and especially cooperation. I hope this evening is a source of new energy for you and yours to give, to get involved, to work hard, and to make this fragile world more beautiful than ever. Thank you all very, very much.